Hello everyone. I just wanted to walk with you through the process of going to census.gov and actually collecting and downloading data from the census.gov website. Census.gov goes through iterations all the time and the user interface changes. So I'm gonna to try to make this video as up-to-date as possible. The instructions in the assignment are relatively sparse simply because the user interface changes oftentimes, but the steps to collect the data tends to be the same. So let's walk through it. I've got the instructions on the left. I've got my browser here on the right. So let's go to data.census. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll learn to spell data.census.gov. And it takes us to explore census data and again, just last year, two years ago, this interface was completely different. So we're gonna do the steps for this particular interface. So first thing we wanna do is under browse filters, excuse me, first thing, we're gonna click advanced search. Then here's our browse filters topics, and we're gonna be relying on these topics and the filters itself quite a bit. So under browse filters, we'll click topics, and then housing and then here we want to click on physical characteristics and for this particular exercise we're looking at heating and air conditioning hvac okay now we're not clicking search yet because what we want to do is pick particular geography brow or excuse me particular geography filter so we're now going to come back here click on the geography filter so if you're following along we're right here now we click on county because we're looking for county data and we're going to be looking for all counties in the United States of America. So we're not picking on a singular state um, or counties within a state. We're looking at counties across the entire United States of America. So we've got the housing data table that we want. At least that's what we stated in the search. And we've also included we want to add this data to all counties in the United States. And so now, let's see, follow along, we're gonna click search. And here's all the tables that pop up. And you know, if you want, this says all, but we can click on tables and we can just sort of limit our search now for the tables and there's 19 results. It says select and download the table B25040 house heating fuel for 2015 five-year estimates and save it to your assignment 5-1 your name folder. So here's house heating fuel and you'll notice that 2015 is included. This is the table B25040. So we click on it, click download, and specifically we're looking for house heating fuel. So right here, house heating fuel, that's our first choice. We're going to click on that now download selected one. Now we have more choices. Um, we're not looking for 2019 data, so we're gonna get rid of this. And you'll notice that when we click on 2019 for one year and five year, it tells us what we're downloading. Metadata, the CSV file data, and then some table title text files. We're gonna get rid of those. So now we got nothing, but we're gonna scroll over here and we want the five year data for 2015. Click on that, so we should be getting one CSV file, which is the data itself, one CSV file, which contains the metadata, and one text file, which includes the table title and what other other what else other text is included. All right, click on download. It's prepared, download now, and I'm gonna save my file. It's gonna go to my downloads folder, and it should save as a .zip, here it is. And so I'm going to just uncompress it. So I'll double click on it. I'm using a Mac. So I just double click. If you're using Windows, you might have to right click and say uncompress. I'll open the folder and here it is. And if I open up the first .csv file, it contains all the data. Here's my geo ID. So again, this is going to be my ID. If I want to join this table with another table, then here's my identifier. And you'll notice I've got all the counties in the United States of America, starting with Alabama, going all the way down. And now I've got estimated total of different fuels. Um, what you're gonna need to do next is actually clean this data up. 
I'm not gonna walk you through that at the moment. You can follow those instructions, but that is how you download data from census.gov. It's pretty quick, uh, pretty painless, and there's so much data at your fingertips right now that you can actually use, download, incorporate into maps. It, it, it really is quite nice. Data becoming ubiquitous really is true to a certain extent. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, until next time, thanks a lot.